Now they say when you're turning wet wood, you should probably rough turn it and leave it a while. Well, here we go, a piece of walnut from Findon in West Sussex that was rough turned in April 2017. Hello! I'm going to start with a flashback to over two years ago. Two or more, two and a bit years ago, um, I was a lucky recipient of some walnut from a large tree that had been felled in Findon in West Sussex. Um, and uh, what you're going to see first is a younger me um, from April 2017, when I'd only really um, been making videos for a couple of months by that point. Um, rough turning a bit of walnut that I put away and which gets turned into this. There you go, Roger, that's for you. So you know what it's gonna be like at the end without having to watch it backwards like you normally do. Right, so no surprises on this one. Just uh, a fun bit of turning, which I hope you enjoy. Okay, this was me two years and uh, three months ago. I don't look a day older. I look at least five years older. This is probably the biggest blank I've turned yet. Nearly 18 inches across, a piece of walnut, only very recently felled. Just gonna rough it out and then leave it to dry before it gets finished off. So, um, I think it's had long enough to dry. Let's see. Yeah, bowed a little across the top, which is to be expected. Um, and I think it's gone slightly oval as well. Quite hard to show that on the camera, but maybe. Nice uh, curve that seems to have stayed the same and the foot I turned on it with a very faint centre mark, thank goodness, has only gone a little bit over. So back between centres, get a foot established, um, put it back in the chuck, get a nice mounting point for the chuck turned here and um, get the back finished off. It sounds easy. Now, for some reason, I had the microphone turned off for this little bit of footage. But as you can see, I've got it mounted between centers, just truing up the foot, truing up the outside, keeping that uh, curve uh, as smooth as possible, using a bit of a shear scraping cut on the lower wing here, and then getting my mounting point sorted out. Um, going to put it in Axminster A-Jaws. Um, probably a little small for something like this but because I've already hollowed most of it out um, I think it'll be fine and uh, the rim there just moving the tool rest so I can get around that corner and keep the gouge better supported and I'm going to keep a slight lip just to add a little bit of visual interest um, to the side of the bowl you can just see the see it there and then sanding 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 hmm. right finishing time bit of cut and polish and then just a wax over the top of that nice and simple and natural much less now hardly any but finish off with a bit of clean cloth, a tiny bit more speed. That's going just over a thousand. 
I like to finish up with a bit of web racks. Right, let's take it out between centers and get it in a chuck. Right, let's get that rim sorted out. That's cleaner, but I'm not 100% certain I'm going to keep keep the bead. Might go for a plainer look when I've got a bit more hogged out. Okay, wood wax. Like I said, a very simple, straightforward finish on this. Rather sappy, or sapwood, predominating this bit of walnut. Piths running through it. Yeah, I hope you can see that shine coming up. Now obviously I've got to turn that foot off. Now, due to the wonders of modern technology, um, without anyone noticing, I've taken away most of that foot, left a little bit. I've just had it held against this plate with my uh, tail stock here. I'm just going to knock that last bit off with uh, a chisel, then a bit of sanding, and then we're done. Pardon the rather messy bench. This actually is a fun little turning project for another day. Little carver's mallet. Now the back will get a bit of wax on it later on. But here we have a walnut, shallow bowl, platter, not very deep, but would have cost quite a lot of money I think to get something that diameter across and three inches thick. Not the most exciting walnut in the world but these two bits here that come through with the pith in 
are going to be interesting. And you can see there are some blemishes. I need to clean that up um, where the pith has come through. I'll just see what happens. But in terms of having something lovely to put the apples and bananas in, in the front room, well, not bad. And it was free. Can't ask for more than that. Thanks for watching.